We're back up and running now, pretty much full speed ahead. It was nice to have a bit of time at home, but it's good to be back. Albert Embankment, I love the site. It's a brilliant site for a varied array of engineering. Brilliant team here at Hammersmith, yeah. The best guys. We're lucky here at Hammersmith, we've managed to get some extra welfare facilities, so we are pretty much back to full force with regards to engineers. We're busy excavating the culverts and we also have a few reinforced concrete pours in the interception chamber as well. And this huge structure behind us here is the Hammersmith shaft vortex tube. This weighs approximately 65 tonnes and this is what is going to be sat inside our shaft. It costs approximately half a million pounds uh, to get it sat here today. It's made out of stainless steel, most of which is 20 mil thick. The main purpose of the vortex tube itself is to help force all the flows into a vortex swirl instead of the flows crashing down to the bottom of the shaft. Ultimately, the whole vortex tube will be encased in concrete and these shear studs are designed to tie the vortex tube into the concrete itself. So far, we're going to plan. It's stressful at times. Everything's got to be well coordinated. Very busy, but nothing we can't handle. At Albert Embankment in June, we uh, completed the excavation of our interception chamber. Uh, big milestone pour for the base slab. So now we're going to start building the walls back up to the top and taking the structure out of the ground. Because we've got three coffer dams and we're, we're working over quite a long stretch of the river, it feels almost like three separate sites because you've got completely almost separate works in Cough Dam 1, Cough Dam 2 and Cough Dam 3. On Cough Dam 1 and Cough Dam 2 uh, we used what might be seen as a more traditional method, slightly more intrusive uh, of vibration and drop hammer methods of putting the piles in. But for Cough Dam 3, uh, due to the residential area that we're quite close to, we've chosen to use, a, in theory, a silent method of piling. So what you can see is a geek and rig that pushes the piles into the ground by pulling off the ones that have already been installed. Everyone's eager to work, everyone's on board with the measures we put in place. All anyone wants to do is to see this thing get built. <laughs>